The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick nor sack nor food nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. And then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last night, as I was preparing for today, uh, I stumbled across in the lives of the saints a rather obscure person who, when I looked, probed a little bit further, uh, was uh, distinguished not only by uh, having a strange nickname, but also by uh, being, I would say, something of a male counterpart to Hildegard of Bingen a century earlier. And that is Blessed Hermann Contractus, or Blessed Hermann of Reichenau, I believe it was, the monastery. Uh, he was something of a universal genius, um, even though he is not that well recognized today. He was um, a monk. He had been put in a monastery at Reichenau for uh, when he was eight years old because his parents couldn't handle him. He was severely deformed and very physically needy. And so uh, raised in the monastic atmosphere, which uh, Let's face it, monasticism was never closed off. It was always wide open and was a way of being wide open. Uh, so very often the other forms of life in the world at that time tended to be closed down into a, um, a set pattern of expect expectations. But the monastic vows and the monastic community tended to free people to pursue um, what we might call some of the higher things, the transcendentals, uh, beauty, goodness, and truth, and uh, in whatever order you might want to see them. And that certainly characterized Blessed Herman, who, um, among other things, was uh, very, very literate, um, a scientist, a philosopher, um, extremely uh, interested in astronomy and the various physical sciences of his day, but he was also a poet and a theologian and a storyteller. And uh, uh, I think he may be also a good patron for us today, like Hildegard, who overcame the handicap of, uh, well, being born female uh, at that time. Uh, uh, Blessed Herman overcame the handicap of very severe physical disabilities that seemed to free his mind in all sorts of directions. So he may be a good patron for us today when we are struggling with the uh, evangelization of culture and to discover and, uh, as a uh, uh, heard Bishop Barron on Monday, he gave a talk to all of the priests of the Archdiocese, uh, you know, that the, uh, possibly the greatest tool of evangelization in our culture today is beauty. Because the path of truth and the path even of goodness in the 
uh, fragmentation of our world, the polarization of our world, the the uh, the rejection of anything beyond the um, uh, the physical. Um, uh, it seems that beauty may be the only avenue that is open to uh, conveying the reality of the good news, which the apostles were commissioned to proclaim, the good message that we have a God who loves us. So let's uh, pray for the intercession of Blessed Herman today and maybe learn a little bit more uh, of him and from him. Uh, that's why I've asked that the Salve Regina, if you would join in singing the Salve Regina at the end of the Mass, because he is reputed to have composed it, along with a number of other things, the Alma Radium Taurus Mater, and even the Veni Sancti Spiritus. So, uh, there's dispute about those, but he is the, uh, the one who traditionally is acknowledged as the composer. So, we've got a special reason to sing uh, in honor of Mary today. So let's stand to pray. <coughs> so let us pray for uh, those who um, whose environment is the beauty of our world and the beauty of human creation that we may be able to move beyond this fully integrate this beauty, but move beyond it to discover the beauty of the Creator. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists and those who are particularly engaged in bringing uh, good science into, good, into the sphere of good religion and uniting uh, true faith in the Lord and the good news, the gospel, uh, with the uh, exploration and discovery of the wonders, the overwhelming wonders of our creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who still maintain faith in goodness in our world, uh, in the environment of so much fragmentation and alienation and denial of any kind of uh, true good other than that what, which we um, often pervertedly desire, that, um, that goodness may also take hold of the Christian imagination and be a tool for um, proclaiming the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who experience neither goodness, <clears throat> truth, or beauty, especially those who are homeless, uh, often right around the corner, for those who are um, seeking, those who are sick and um, in despair and seeking health and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Finally, for, well, for those who have died, as well as for the requested intention of our Mass, for the vocations, for vocations to the Pauline family, and for any of our own uh, particular needs and intentions. In fact, if you'd like to mention them now, please feel free to. Who your take of family is the one that lost their mother? We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For an abundant outpouring of the Holy gifts of the Holy Spirit for our general chapter, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for success and guidance in the current search that the Sisters of Nazareth are doing for a um, permanent chaplain for, um, for Nazareth House, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, we thank you and we praise you that you continue to shower your spirit upon us. Keep us always faithful in thought, word, and deed, that we may proclaim your goodness, your truth, and your beauty by all the means that you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.